next was a partial rear delt raise, or excuse me, partial rear delt fly. So we got, we got this one from uh, John Meadows, he uses it a lot, and uh, I got it from him, and I really like it. And so what he's doing here is um, we were going until, um, so initially it's almost one of those things where when he goes heavier, his form got, it was getting more consistent and better because he has to use momentum. So this is something only an advanced lifter would use that ha that's um, you know in tune with their body. So he's gonna just do those six to eight inch pulses right there and really concentrate on working the, the rear delt. Sort of that intrinsic, you know, kind of focus motivation right there versus like we took, you know, like doing like if you sell an athlete, you know, you don't say like contract your glutes before you jump or whatever you're gonna do. You say, you'd say, push the ground away from you as you jump. But with bodybuilders, you can actually talk in terms of that mind muscle connection because if you're any good, they have it. And obviously Daniel does. Okay, so what we did there, go as many reps as he could until it kind of broke down in like that 30, 20 to 5 to 30 ish range. We did that for 45 second breaks, did that for four sets using the old school Boyer Co. method.